the direction of the U.S. economy befuddling experts again and rattling investors in a huge way as the latest consumer price index data finds inflation in August was mostly unchanged, despite the Fed's actions to cool soaring prices. Yeah, inflation up 8.3% last month from over a year ago, and on Tuesday, Wall Street experiencing its worst day in over two years. All three major indexes suffering big losses. The Dow off nearly 4%, the S&P down more than 4%, and NASDAQ dropping more than 5%. So Wall Street is bracing for more interest rate hikes by the Fed after steadily falling gasoline prices have failed to offset the rising costs of other things that we buy. Emily Ikeda has our report. From the price tags in the checkout aisle to the cost of keeping the lights on and even the size of the rent check, new data showing what so many Americans are feeling. The price of nearly everything is stubbornly high, up 8.3 percent compared to a year ago, putting more pressure on the Federal Reserve to continue aggressively raising interest rates when it meets next week. We have more to do, but we're getting there. The higher than expected inflation numbers, unwelcome news for President Biden, who celebrated the passage of the Inflation Reduction Act. We had a vision, a plan, and we stuck to it. And the result is we're getting the job done for the American people. Republicans slamming the White House ceremony as out of touch. Democrats' policies are sucker punching American families every time they set foot in the checkout line. While the national average for a gallon of gas is now down $1.30 from the all-time high in June, it's still up 16% compared to a year ago. Also soaring, electricity up 15.8%, rent 6.7%, and groceries surging 13.5% the biggest yearly spike in more than four decades. Those rising prices are pushing more people to food banks, like this one in Burlington, New Jersey, where Glenda Wimberly volunteers. This is a blessing for the community and is a big blessing for me. The 70-year-old isn't just a volunteer. She also relies on the food bank to feed the three grandchildren she's raising. You go in there and spend $50, and you got, like, five things in the car. You say, what happened to my money? Where's the food? While average hourly wages are up 5.2 percent, inflation more than wipes out those gains and is no help to people on a fixed income like Glenda. It's like a red neon sign flashing that, oh, can't spend that, can't go there, can't do that. It's very difficult. Well, with high prices on items combined with yesterday's dramatic stock market drop, Americans are faced with tough financial decisions, I'm sure you know, but there are some ways to help ease the pain. Cindy Zuniga, author of Overcoming Debt and Achieving Financial Freedom, says it takes thoughtful planning and creativity. She points to January for a moment of opportunity when student loan payments begin again. She says start planning now for where that money will go or come from. Go ahead and start budgeting that possible payment, you know, into your monthly plan so that you can kind of see, okay, how is this possible monthly student loan payment, uh, you know, going to have an impact on my day-to-day -day finances? 